Hi, this is Talking to Buttons episode 31. In the last episode I said the episode number wrong. I said 28 and it was really 30. In this one, I've got it right. It's 31. And uh, this show is about... The other thing I wanted to do is look at the hits. I mean, one thing I noticed that was really funny is this, on the video game uh, episode, I think that might be 18, the... Uh, the, uh, there's only not many people have gone there yet. I mean, all in all, talking to buttons has had like 500 people go to the archives, <laughs> so it's not a very uh, lots of people go there. But in the video game one, since I mean the earlier episodes, you know they've had like 500 hits, but uh, later on, by the time I got to 18, I bet you that thing has only had like 30 hits. But the interesting thing about that the video game, of the 30 hits. 24 or something made it to the, <laughs> the final version and that was that's actually quite uh, tricky there's four different movies in that one and uh, they get harder as you go along <laughs> and uh, that was an interesting stat I learned and what else okay this is another analysis this is kind of interesting uh, you can click here on the button and you can go to that movie it's a uh, conversation it was number uh, 12 or something conversation and so 92 people show up to click on the first movie. 92. And then I ask, how are you doing? And they say, 35 say fine, and 34 say lousy. It's an equal, <laughs> an equal uh, thing there. And then, uh, what do I ask next? Oh, I ask about the weather. How's the weather? Yeah, and 50, only 54 make it. So I've been losing, like, 92 showed up for that movie, and only 70 answered the first question. So uh, at least 20 people said, what the hell are you asking me? What is a movie asking me how I'm doing? <laughs> and uh, it just didn't go. So then 70 answered that, and then only 54 get to the weather. So we've lost another 20. And now we're at, uh, we're asking our, where, where people are, and either they're, they're too, like too weirded out to answer. Like, oh, are you in North America or uh, uh, Europe or whatever? Uh, they're too weirded out to answer, or it's just ty too diffuse. Maybe they're like, I don't have any hits for the, that one. <laughs> like maybe so that, and I only get things over twenty. So <laughs> I don't know what happened there. Anyway, and then at the end, it the people who made it to the final ending were thirty-eight. Thirty. So really, that conversation wasn't all that successful. And one last report, the uh, episode where I tell the three little pigs with a happy and a sad ending. 192 people have watched that episode. 61 went happy. 53 went sad. I was thinking about this last night. Uh, with this, 192 people go to the show and only like 110 people vote at all. I'm thinking some of those early episodes, a lot of people check them out in things like Windows Media Player or something that can handle QuickTime movies enough to play the video track, but not enough to have the interactivity. So I think today's question is, uh, do you feel like your privacy is being impinged on by movies that talk back? I mean, I haven't had all that much luck with the tech side of this thing yet. Uh, and like, I, can't, I don't know that anything about you. <laughs> But I can find out things. <laughs> I just have to learn a little more stuff. Uh, but, you know, I don't want to make invasive movies. Maybe this is, this is enough just to find out uh, the, clear, the hits at the end of the week. Um, so, here's my question. Do you think that uh, pri your privacy could be impinged on by uh, movies that ask questions and such?